Welcome back, Captains. We're down here at the New Smyrna Boat Ramp, and I want to apologize. I've been out for a while because this hurricane come up here and tore us up. We're back, and this boat over here is not. Afraid not. I'm afraid they're not going to be able to get out here on the water. Look at that thing. Man, that's coming close there. That sea hunts. Oh, that would have been close. But they're tied up, and I think they're trying to get themselves back. Something happened with the engine. And I think the captain's down there in the bottom of the boat taking a look at it. That's not the best way to start or end your day. Well, they get them over the dock there and send them all in. Let's jump on to the next one. Well, I decided to come over here to the other side where all the action is. Now, let's watch this guy drift into the boat ramp here. And I'm talking about drifting like Nismo drifting. And while this is going on here, let me let you guys know about the link in the description. You guys can grab some shirts, some stickers, and all kinds of fun stuff down there. Check it out on creditcardcaptain.com. They got no lines out on this boat, fenders on the opposite side, and an indicator right there is that lifesaver life ring. Look at that thing sideways. He does what he can to protect the back end over there. And I think that's a bay liner. captain gets back to his post over here and I th and from the looks of it that stern lights on look at that thing I imagine that boat's bottoming out somewhere, and that's why everybody's on one side. Keep it there nice and steady on the ramp. I don't know what happened there, if it was in gear or something like that, but that boat started to move around here. This thing's sideways and stuck on that ramp. And she's like, I'm out of here. Maybe she's going to get the trailer. I'm not sure. He comes back in here, but again, I, that ain't his trailer. I don't know where this guy's going or what he's doing. There it is. Look at that light. Well, that's the last we've seen him out here. Oh, he's got fenders on the other side. I guess that's all right. I guess you need them on both sides when you don't know where you're going. Now, he puts on out of here and that's that well let's see what the Yamaha jet boat does see if they can do it any better than the other one over there looks like it's nice and smooth and the Sea Fox comes up and claims its trailer
It gets a little sideways, but that's perfection compared to the other boat that was just in there. No trailer, sideways, blocking the ramp. Don't even know. And I don't blame her. Sitting down here at the boat ramp, that makes me feel the same way. Well, let's jump into a dirty boat tour over here while I'm waiting for everything to calm down. Now check this boat out. This boat's got pretty much everything you need in it right here. It's got a toolbox, it's rusted, even just to touch it you need a tetanus shot. A bingo ball shaker thing in thingamajigger right there. Look at this man, this is awesome. It's got an Evinrude cover up there and looks like a brand new shot back. Look at that, that radial tire right there, the things right there. This boat's on a trip to the emergency room. There it is, look at the cover, that thing's on there, that's nice. There's the cover. I don't know if this boat's been sitting in the water since 2002, but it, it looks like at least the motor had. And check that out, some hand lotion. They must have taken that one off the nightstand and put it in here and the rats chewed it all up. It's got that gloss spray paint. I think that was Pledge back there too. Let me see what else we can find on here. I think that's about it. Cooler is probably the most expensive thing on the boat. Alright, on to the next one. Now, every once in a while we see some unique things out here. I think this is customer service, but I'm not 100% sure. This is who you call when you need some trouble on a boat there. It's either that or she likes to talk to the other person on the jet ski. Last time I bought a boat or a jet ski, it was so I could go out there for some peace and quiet. She stuffs it right in there real nice and good. That was good. And if you go in too deep, just have you and your friend lift the boat up and put it where it needs to be. That's it. I never thought about motocross goggles on a jet ski, but how that makes sense. Well, I was checking out some of the boats out here as they were coming in whatnot up here. And this little whippersnapper that's standing here in front of me, his parents are loading up the boat, and he was strategically coming in and blocking me. I thought that was funny as hell. Look at him looking back. I'll have to blur him out just a little bit there because I don't know. I keep turning around left and right, but he keeps coming in and blocking so I can't film it. That was pretty swift. You do it again, I'll have to just put the camera up above where you can't see it because you're only about five foot tall anyway. All right, Uncle Jesse's over here dropping his boat in the water here. He's got them suspenders on with them shorts, but check this out. I guess he throws a sprinkle in there, but he just sends that boat out there without any lines on or anything. That's confidence right there. I don't know if it's him or Willie Nelson, but I guarantee if Willie Nelson was on a boat, DEA would be all over it. Uncle Jesse pulls out right there and does a real good job. That's it. The boat just sat there. I don't know what... <laughs> he might be a professional. I don't know. I just stand on the sidelines over here. All right, back over here at the New Smyrna boat ramp. When your friend asks you if you want to go out in the water, you got to ask him what you're going out on first. Because you don't want to get stuck on a jet ski like this riding butts and nuts and butts and nuts. That's tough. He's riding on the back handlebar. I ain't got no words for this one. Y'all just watch it right here. And look at this Ozark Trail boat coming on through. That's fancy. There it is right there. That makes me smile right there. I actually want one of them. I want something so stupid like that that I just get out there and everybody looks at me. Well, I want to thank you guys for watching, liking, and subscribing, and I'll have some more videos for you soon. Thanks for the patience. I'll see you.